Hello and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Me, behind the camera. So today we'll talk about a Lithova lithium ion phosphate battery charger. We'll talk about this charger which is specifically made for lithium ion phosphate batteries. We're talking about a model LFPC 1220. Why 1220? Most likely because 12 for 12 volt batteries and 20 for 20 amp. So this battery charger is specifically made for lithium ion phosphate batteries and its output should be up to 20 amps. You cannot regulate it, you cannot adjust it at all with this power supply, but it charges up to 14.6 volts which is good for the battery, so it charges up the battery to maximum capacity possible. And this charger, as I mentioned already, it does not have any adjustability. It is a pretty simple power supply, it has the power supply, the box itself, a fixed wire to it, which has some alligator clamps on the other side, and I can see, or should be able to see, and it looks like those wires are 12 gauge wires, and then we have the power cable, which is just a normal and regular power cord, which you also plug into your computer, for example. There's, that's all. So the first thing you need to do, connect those alligator clamps to your battery, and then just plug in the power supply. So there's no on and off switch, it will start right away. So before you plug in the power cord, I would recommend connect those alligator clamps and we'll do it and we'll also test it this time and see will we have an output of 20 amps or not and if it does charge batteries up. So let's do that. And for this test we will use the Red Audio Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery Mini. Nothing less. And as you can see here I do have connected a shunt, I do have connected just a fuse in the back, so nothing else, and we will connect the battery mm -hmm. charger to the shunt, so we are able to measure the input. That's the one side and the second side. On the source side, we will try to measure how much do we actually pull to get an efficiency rate out of our, our test setup, basically. And so that we'll be able to tell you at the end how efficient this charge is. As I mentioned, it's a pretty simple setup. So let me turn around this battery so you see the mass on the back. It is not plugged in into a power outlet yet. Even though you saw it, it's not, trust me. So we will connect positive. And since the battery is already connected, as you can see here, and it might be able to spark when you connect the alligator clamps, we do use a little resistor. And I wanna do this side, there we go. Here you can see our little setup. Possible I connect it to a smart shunt, so I'm able to track it. Right now, we do see the battery is at 13.13 volts, around 31% state of charge. Um, it's ish, take it with a little crayon of salt. And I would say we'll start it and then we just let it run for a little bit before we do all the other testing and see what is the actual power it needs from the grid and how much power does it pump into the battery. So let's start with that. Okay, and you might be able to hear it, maybe not. When you look at a power supply, it does have a very simple construction. So it's an aluminum housing for cooling, I would say. It has a fan which is inside and it kicked on immediately as soon as I plugged it in. It does have a light um, in the camera right now. It's not, it's, it is red actually. I hope you can see it here better, it's red. It also can uh, be green. Red means a solid red. It's charging. When it's solid green, it's done charging. And on the other side, there's just some air inlets. There's no fan. Let's give it a couple minutes and see where we at. Okay, it's running a little bit. Let me adjust here a little bit, make it darker so you can read it actually. So, as you can imagine, not running super long, but it's running a little bit. So, we are at 43% at the moment. It is pushing in 20.10 amps, which is equivalent to at least what a smart chance is. Um, can you see it up here, this one? 269.34 watts. I feel like this is pretty stable, which is really good. Let's see, what are we having here? And it does say, sorry, it's a little darker, but it is pulling between 298 and 301. Let's use 301 watts. Still pretty stable here, so I like that. So I'll use the calculation of 269 divided by 302 brings us to 89% efficiency, which is nice to see. I would say there's always some kind of efficiency loss in between, because the device also needs some power, obviously. And, whoop, 
let's see if I can get this pretty clear for you guys. Yeah, there we are. Uh, I'll measure on the unit itself. 90, 91, 92. I think that's the hot spot here on the right side. 91, 92 degree. Yeah, that's the hotter side over here. It's hotter on this side. And everything else, even the sides, let's measure the sides. Let's see what we're having here. So, oh, that's different. 101, 101, yep, 101. And the bottom, all measured, there we go. And on the side, it is 95. 94, yeah, it's the hotter side here. 97, 96. This unit is not heating up too crazy hot. It's nice, you can touch it still. I like that. I have other units tested um, up here, whoop, uh, which are way harder than this unit. So this is uh, refreshing that you can even hold it and it's not super hot. So let's see how it performs. We are at a 45% state of charge, still pushing it with 20.10 amps. And let's see where we're at in a couple more minutes or maybe one or two hours. And we're still running. So let's double check where we're at at the moment, temperature wise. The moment running 103, temperature wise on top. We do have 273 watt right now. But, oh let me see. The charger is pulling 300, let's say 306, because that's the max we can get at the moment. So we'll divide, we'll use 306 and 273. Not too bad, I feel like, at the moment. Dang, that was timing. It just finished. So this power supply did finish between 89 and 90% uh, uh, of efficiency, which is really great, I feel like. Also the final temperatures, um, now it dropped to 92 or 93 degree on this power supply, right here in this area. That was kind of the main hotspot. What I liked about it, this power supply does put out 20 amps and temperature-wise, it does not heat up crazy. I get up our supplies, which is really refreshing, really nice. This battery charger is almost made just for lithium iron phosphate batteries, um, which is great if you only have this chemistry of batteries, so then no problem at all. And I feel like um, a lot of people those days have just this type of battery in the meantime. And this battery charger is really doing a great job. I feel like um, it had consistent output, which is great. I used it already in, on a couple batteries. I also plugged it into the Lacity battery box and uh, used it from there and charged batteries, and, which is really great. So all in all, this power supply really um, works well, I feel like. It's super simple, as mentioned. This is the product manual. There's not a lot of information in there, to be honest. But it does what it should. There's maybe one thing I would improve on this power supply. Besides having just those, those alligator clips, it would be great if there would be a quick connect right in between of those cables where you can maybe you know, have an XT60 or an Anderson connector, and then you can just plug in different outlets or whatever uh, system you have, or maybe even expand to a different wire, whatever you need. That might be something coming up in another video, uh, modifying this power supply to my needs. But as of now, with those alligator clamps, you're having a really great opportunity and option to charge almost everything, to be honest. Yeah, let me know what you think about those kind of power supplies. I feel like there are there are a lot of them out now. What's really funny, I want to mention that as well. Um, as you know, we have this product manual, and honestly, I did not see what green and red means, but it's written on here, so you don't even need to <laughs> read a manual. So yeah, and one addition to it, why having also a quick connect here on this wire maybe, is uh, you could just individually clip those to the battery, to whatever you have, to terminals, and then um, plugging in this power supply and then just quick connect everything together and have it more secure and safe uh, instead of having maybe a spark or maybe not. Let me know what you think about those kind of power supplies. I'm really curious about that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.